well <laughs> um so I just wanted to have a quick chat with you guys. Um, this is gonna be a super casual video and hopefully very, very quick. Um, so I know that I did just do an update video on my channel um, last week, I think. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't wanna do this. <laughs> um, so I posted a photo on Instagram um, notifying you, basically you guys and um, friends and family um, that we are unfortunately having to postpone our wedding in August. Um, we received news that Nick will be deploying. Um, uh, not thrilled but i mean what are you gonna do it is what it is um that is unfortunately the nature of our lives we knew it was always a possibility um but we weren't really at least i wasn't anticipating it or you know i i knew it was a possibility but i kind of just like pushed it out of my mind and i was like nope we're gonna plan the wedding we're gonna carry on like you know, there's always a possibility, but if you plan your entire life around things that may or may not happen, then you're never gonna you're never gonna get to where you want to go. Um, these are things that change all the time, and you can't really plan for them. Um, and unfortunately, like I said, it's the nature of our lives, and we kind of just have to live our lives and take it one day at a time. And you know, if we were trying to guess around and plan for this and pick a day that wouldn't conflict with the deployment and all that stuff, we would never have a date. We would never be getting married. Um, I know it was kind of some sudden news I just posted on Instagram. We have not known for that long. I tried to update everyone as pretty, pretty much as soon as we knew because, you know, we're a few months out and people making travel arrangements, that kind of thing. And then, of course, you know, we had to notify our family, um, our bridesmaids, groomsmen. Um, and we're in the process of letting all of our guests know formally. Um, we are sending postponement announcements out. Um, so, I don't really, I don't, I, I guess I'm just, I'm trying to explain what's going on, but like, <laughs> I don't really even know what's going on. Um, so just to clear up some of the questions, a lot of people have been asking like, when's he going, where he, where is he going? Um, things like that. We, we do have more information at this time. We, we do know more, um, but we're not really ready to give those details yet. Um, just because they could change and we don't want to, you know, alert everyone that something's happening and then it doesn't or something else happens instead, that kind of thing. Um, and we also, we don't, we don't know how much we are allowed to share at this point. Um, so we won't be sharing any details publicly just because we don't know what's happening until it's happening. Um, so... For people asking, when's he going, that kind of thing, just he's obviously leaving before August or else we wouldn't be postponing. I know it's a really big surprise to a lot of people. It's a really big surprise to me as well. Um, I've been trying to just, you know, digest, take it day by day. We're coping. Um, obviously, I was not excited. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, postponing a wedding is one thing, but it's it's... It's a lot of news to handle. Nick and I, um, we really like haven't been together that long. Um, for those of you that don't know, we did just move in together um, last July, basically. Um, we've only, we've been living together less than a year, um, and we've already moved twice, and we are now, for the most part, settled in our new place and that kind of thing. So that's nice. Um, but you know, he was gone for the first month of me being here in North Carolina. Um, he came back for about three weeks or so and he is currently gone again. 
Um, so that's just kind of how things pan out. He will be back soon, hopefully. Um, again, things are always changing. Um, I need to stay, we have to stay very flexible. I've gotten a few questions if we have decided on a new date and at this point we have not. Um, we haven't really had much time to discuss because we did find out last week and he did leave this week. So um, I'm still kind of digesting and that kind of thing. Um, we will probably be postponing until spring or summer of 2020, I guess. Um, it obviously was not in my plans to have a two-year engagement. That wasn't what either of us wanted. That really wasn't, like, in our plans. Um, obviously it's incredibly disappointing. It really, it sucks. <laughs> Um, but my job now is to support him and for him to know that I'm here no matter what he needs. Um, obviously his quick and safe return is paramount and our highest priority. Um, that's what I care most about. Uh, like I said, it does suck having to postpone a wedding. Um, but you know, it's also really difficult you know, I'm losing my partner, my teammate, my best friend um, for a while, um, but it's fine. We're gonna we're gonna be fine. Um, as you can tell, I'm still digesting. Um, it's only been a few days, less than a week, um, so it's still a little bit fresh for us. Yes, I have started to notify vendors that things will not be happening as planned. Um, that's been a little bit tough, you know, having to tell having to tell the same story like 10 times sucks. Um, it was the same with, you know, that Instagram blast that I kind of just put out. We texted a lot of people, um, kind of as many people as we could or had the energy to, but um, at one point I was just, I was so tired and I just, I. I really, I felt like I was like reliving it all, like opening a fresh wound, I guess you could say, um, every time I had to have the conversation with someone. We didn't mean to be impersonal to our guests. Um, we kind of just, we just needed to get it out there as quickly as possible. And we also didn't want people to hear randomly. We wanted people to hear from us. Um, and like I said, we will still be sending out a formal notice to all of our guests. Um, you know, this is just, this is where we are. Um, we're taking it as it comes and it, it is what it is. So well, the wedding planning vlogs will be on hold for a little bit. Um, I don't know how present on social media I'm going to be. I'm trying to make videos and that kind of stuff. We just have a lot going on. Um, so if I'm a little bit scarce, you know why. But, you know, it is every intention of mine to continue doing what I'm doing. I really, really enjoy it. I love it. Um, you know, this is just an event that we didn't plan for and now we just have to react. It is really, really bittersweet um, because it sucks that we have to postpone our wedding um, and have an even longer engagement, wait another year to do this. And you know, seeing people this summer getting married and a lot of our friends who were engaged after, like we like we got engaged before them, like seeing them get married before us and stuff, it's, it is it is tough. Um, but you know, of course we're so happy for everyone and wish everyone well and I'm not resentful or bitter or anything like that. And at the same time, I'm also incredibly proud of Nick. Um, this is, I mean, not everyone's cut out for it, not everyone can do it, um, but he's an awesome guy, as many of you know, as all of our friends and family can attest to. Um, he's just so hardworking, such a strong guy, and I'm so, so proud of him. Um, so, you know, it's really important to me that he knows that. So, you know, like I said, it does suck that we have to cancel our wedding, but... <laughs> So I ask you guys, be patient with me. Um, I'm working through some things, but the wedding is happening. I'm still gonna be doing wedding planning stuff. Uh, we're still going on Bachelorette. Um, still doing my Bachelorette weekend and stuff this summer. We decided that that was, you know, the best thing. Um, and we still have so much exciting stuff coming up and we have so much to be thankful for. 
and although this isn't the perfect scenario right now we are going to make the best of it everyone is fine everyone is healthy and happy and you know we have a beautiful home we have two amazing dogs we have each other and that's really all that is important um, so I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit further about what's been going on kind of how I'm feeling kind of where we are in all of this um, and this isn't the happiest video I've ever had to film but again I want to be very realistic with you guys I want to explain what's going on um, and I want you guys to know if you're going through this as well like I totally feel your pain um, right now, like I said, all we can do is really move forward and make the best of it. Um, I've had my day to cry and throw a temp temper tantrum and stop my feet and say it's not fair. Um, it isn't fair, but it is what it is. And, you know, we, we can't control everything. And the only thing we can really control is our reaction. So we have decided that we are going to make the best of it. We're going to do what we do best. And we're gonna be a team through this entire thing. I have an amazing family. Um, he has an amazing family, which is my family now too. Um, so together, we're all gonna get through it. It's all gonna be fine. Um, you know, unfortunately, it's not all that uncommon in the military. Um, you know, people deploy all the time. So please do keep those people in your thoughts and prayers. You know, pray for a speedy and safe return. Um, you know, there's other people out there in this situation, um, that, you know, my heart goes out to them as well, you know, I totally understand how you're feeling and, you know, just keep, keep those people in mind. We're, we're totally fine, like, there's so many people out there that have it completely worse than we do and, like, just totally unfair situations and, like, I really just, it really puts it into perspective that, you know, it's, it's unfortunate but at the end of the day, we're really, really well off and we really can't complain at all. Um, very, very thankful for our lives. I'm so thankful for everyone that's been so supportive of us and you know, we've just gotten so many kind messages these last couple days and again, the support is just, it's been unbelievable. It's, you guys are all so, so kind. Um, it really, it means a lot. It's, it's really really appreciated i promise and if i haven't been able to get to you or answer your message or anything like that it's just i it's just it's been a whirlwind and there's just been so much happening um but i promise i'm reading every single one of them and i'm just i'm so thankful for everyone's support and just kindness and i can't tell you how many people have reached out to me and said like you know if you need anything at all like let me know and i'm like that's just, like it's so nice people going out of their way just to make sure that we're okay and if they can help us they they're there for us um and that just it, it makes it incredible so thank you guys so much for all of the support and love um we're in a good place nick and i are not calling off the wedding because we're mad at each other or anything like that unfortunately due to circumstances we can't control you know it just it is what it is but we're we're gonna make the best of every second and it's it's gonna be an even bigger better party and it's it's all gonna be great it's good we really it's everything everything's gonna be fine the importance is keeping a good attitude and i hope that you guys if you have your loved one nearby squeeze them extra tight be extra thankful that they're there with you at all times and just you know enjoy it um this is not a video for anyone to feel sorry or sympathy or pity us. We're really going to be just fine. Um, I just wanted to kind of explain a little bit further what's going on and how I've been feeling, give you guys a little bit of an update, um, and just reassure you guys that everything's fine. So I guess, <laughs> I guess that's pretty much it. This is a little bit longer than I intended. I wanted it to be quick and painless. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully it'll be a little bit happier. <laughs>